it's Sunday, and you know what that means. Motorcycle maintenance day. As you can see, the ZX6R is kind of in bits at the moment, front sprocket cover, because I was actually getting a little oil leak. You can see here, I was like, bruh, what, what is that? I know for a fact that it's not actually oil um, because it was way too sticky uh, consistency wise. So I'm thinking that I pretty much overdid it with the lube. Clean and lube my chain the other day and I'm pretty sure I went completely overboard with the lube. And that's kind of shown by the inside of the front sprocket cover and you can see that there is a really like disgusting buildup of crap there. And that would explain all the shit that's kind of going everywhere. So this chain I've just actually uh, adjusted properly again and it's doing really well now, completely within spec, so. But this shit is just fucking, look at in there, it's like just lube everywhere. You know me, I go a bit crazy with the lube. You can never have too much lubricant. You can never have too much lubricant, isn't that right, Gabriella? So we're just washing the, uh, the shoes in the sink, you know, as you do. So check this bad boy out. So we've completely vinyl wrapped the old shark helmet. This was the one that was covered in stickers. And if you want to see how we did that, how we vinyl wrapped the helmet, check out my Patreon page, because it's going to be exclusive to Patreons on there. So I just get home. Wait, wait. Wait, what? Are you naked? Well, I'm in panties, wait. You're in panties? Wait, wait! Leo? You hear that? Oh shit. And this is what I find. Space for you. I mentioned this to Gabby yesterday. We have two wardrobes, right, in this bedroom. That one is all Gabby's clothes, literally to the ceiling. That's not fucking true. That's not true. That's not true. That is all our jackets. Plural. It's a bit of a mess right now, but as you can see, it goes all around the top, all around here. So this is Gabby's extra clothes. <laughs> I have two shelves. You have the third one on the top, but I was I need to fold my clothes up, but whatever. They're all wrinkly and in bowl at the end of the shelf. When I have organized your shelves several Okay, Mulan. I wanna be the very best. No, that's Pokemon. That's not Mulan. What's the Mulan song? Look! Oh, this is the sing-along version too, Gabby. Let's get down to business. Oh, this this is a fitting theme tune. To defeat. No! <laughs> Work! That's so funny! <laughs> yeah, it's a work song, Gabby. Keep folding those clothes. <laughs> Don't think she squats like Gollum from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> My precious! <laughs> For your bike, so. Oh yeah, these are good actually. Guys, as, as a man, I'm completely not against to using my girlfriend's... Leggings. Leggings. So that's Leo's bowl, so he can just check himself out when he's just having a glass of water, you know? <laughs> You've lost your marbles, where have they gone? You see? So he can watch himself having a drink. So we've had a little bit of bad news um, today. It's not that dramatic. We're not the kind of channel that will like have a really depressing thumbnail and then basically have you know somebody crying in the thumbnail and it turns out that, that, they're, that they're, excuse me, Leo, turns out that they're getting a different pair of shoes or something dramatic like that. But basically like what happened was it was with the K75, the BMW. So we basically took the bike to the MOT station of last week and the mechanic there was lovely guy. He said, okay, but I can't do it today. Leave it with me overnight. We can get it sorted for you. Like, we'll get the MOT on it, no worries. He gave us a ring and he was like, okay, well, it won't pass the MOT because the stanchions are bent. So the stanchions are the bit of metal that connect the forks. You clamp the 
triple tree clamp and then the handlebars onto if you're having like a if you have clip-ons right so those things are called the stanchions and they were bent to the extent where it would get stuck where it was um, bent and so then when it would decompress it would just go super fast up when you don't expect it yeah um, and so I really I knew there was something kind of like going on but I thought it was just normal because it's an old bike mm -hmm. but then again it makes sense that actually, you know, there was something going going on there, and that's why it was so uncomfortable. Sometimes you would stop, put the bike on the stand, and suddenly the bike would go and do like boing. Yeah, it was really bad. So like when you compress the forks, like it acted all normal, but then when you decompress them, as Gabby said, like they kind of got. I would say like ninety eight percent of the way I there. Mean, I realized. I realized that was happening. The moment I bought it, yeah. um, I, I took it and as I was riding away, I realized that that was happening. But the thing is that I've never really had such an old bike, so I didn't know if it was actually normal. I just thought it was just aging forks, and I, I certainly didn't think it would make it fail the MOT. In a way, I'm kind of happy that it happened because... Yeah, because, I mean, it's a pain because we obviously, like, I'm, you know, have to pay, we have to pay for it and do it and stuff, but at the same yeah. time, it's so nice, the fact to... Hear it yeah, from mechanic. Yeah, exactly. That, like, yeah, so the mechanic said like everything else on the bike is perfect. Yeah. Like he says, you guys have done such an awesome job. Everything. I was like fucking proud, dude. Like yeah. we did. Yeah. You did yeah, it again. Like did it You got all these like bling bling rings that just like. Oh, well, no, I'm just an expensive bitch. You're an expensive bitch. No, In a good way. I'm actually not. You're actually not, not an expensive bitch. No, when I'm. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I was going to say, I'm actually happy that this is changed because even though it's a fucking pain in the arse, I'm actually happy that we did because in the case that I actually sell the bike, now I can be like, dude, this is proper good. Proper well done. MOT'd bitch. The annoying thing is it's just going to be like a little bit more time before the bike's back on the road, but hopefully we order the stanchions. And the thing is, I'm interrupting you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I went in for it. <laughs> And the thing is that... My turn. <laughs> the thing is, the one of the best things about the fact that the bike is nearly done is motorcycle shopping. I think I really want to go back to a Ducati Monster, actually. I want Who to would go. have known that? Shh. Shh. I want to go back. <laughs> you know what? My name's Gabby. It's <laughs> and I talk to cameras. <laughs> It's a fucking secret, bitch. I, you know what? The thing is that I said I would never go back to Ducati because I was fucking bored of it. And now I'm like... I, I want it. The most I'm going to get what I want. Which ones? You're going to go for the Ducati Monster 600, 696, S2R, S4R. Any Ducati that I like that is in the naked side of oh, things. the naked side of things. On that note, thank you so much for watching this wonderful video. Please like the video and please click the notification bell so that you can stay up to date with naked things. <laughs> we'll see you guys next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>